Right now, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Moneybox and my admittedly slightly limited experience. I invested in the current dip and or recession, basically all of my money, because that slash now is as good a time as any to start. From then on, I started slash will start slash have start, and it's so confusing. Uh, dollar cost averaging, basically everything that is left over from my monthly wage. I don't bother with the roundups at all. I simply add money at the start of yeah, at the start of the month when all of the money is when all of the rest of my money is allocated, i.e., my emergency fund or runway, uh, airsoft allowance, and my phone bill. And that's basically it while I'm living with my parents. Score. I could quote to you the percentage values of your index funds that are paid that you have to pay to Moneybox, including the one pound monthly fee after first three months free. Instead, you'll find yours in settings right at the bottom, terms and fees, fees and charges. I for example, pay less than 1% of my total invested. And I, I think it would be better if instead of selling off your index funds to cover the fees, the fees were just debited from your bank account. If there is an option for that, I haven't found it. And if there isn't an option for that, why isn't there an option for that? Moneybox, I'm talking to you. These are the questions we want answered. Moneybox, for beginners, which I am absolutely one, offers three starting options. You can choose cautious, balanced, and adventurous. Cautious being the most diverse portfolio, diverse balanced portfolio. Balanced is less diverse and containing fewer safe investments. And adventurous being most concentrated in global index funds, but still slightly diversified. Realistically, there is no reason to choose anything other than adventurous if you're investing for the long term. And you won't ever need money within a month, uh, one month period. But, you know, don't put your money in there if, you, if, you're, if it's likely that you're going to need it within a one month period. I get the impression that high risk just means that your money is going to grow less consistently. However, being high reward is going to go grow more in the long run. However, will drop more often. Now, an amazing feature that I found that if you want to make even more dollar, maybe treat your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, out for a nice lunch or just leave an extra big tip for your favourite stripper is to customize your allocations. You just need to go to change allocations, which is in settings, I believe, select one of them, doesn't matter which one, and click on customize. It's just next to the circle or pie chart with all the allocations on it. I've changed mine to 100% index funds. And unless you know at least some stuff about the rest of them, I would absolutely not recommend changing the allocation to anything else. And really, if you don't know anything about index funds, I don't even recommend putting all your money in index funds. Invest in, invest in what you know. Invest in what you know. Now a little bit about lifetime ices with Moneybox. I have no immediate plans to buy a property and or become a landlord. However, Martin Lewis has told me that I have to open one because I have never bought a property before. So I did like he told me and I put a pound, so I opened one with a pound. 
Worst comes to the worst, I'll just have an additional pound 75 when I hit retirement age. Because I already use Moneybox for investing in index funds, as aforementioned, duh, I opened my LISA with them. I put a pound in, literally all of the rest of money, my money is in the aforementioned index funds. When you open a LISA with Moneybox, you have two options. You can either let Moneybox invest your money that you put into the account. This likely, likely because I didn't choose this option, likely will give you a higher return on investment, a higher interest, because your money is in index funds or wherever it really is. The reason that I didn't take this option is that there is a one pound account monthly fee. One pound account monthly fee? There is a one pound account monthly fee. This is, this however is an absolutely good idea if you can afford to deposit, well, I was gonna say four thousand pounds, but like, even if you can, if even if you're gonna put in like two thousand or one thousand in, it's a pretty good option because not only will you receive the £1,000 from the government, or whatever, 25% of what you put in up to £1,000, up to £4,000, whatever, it will also, it can also grow by about 7% as well. However, if you just want to open one because you're young, impressionable, and Martin Lewis told you to do, to, do, to open Elisa, like me, then, but you don't want to or can't afford to put four grand in every year to take full advantage of the uh, additional 25% from the government, then, then the alternative option is a basically a savings account with a 1.4%, 1.35%, 1.25%, right, percent interest, annual interest, which doesn't have any fees attached to it so hence pound 75 when you hit retirement age